go, how many of you like conflicts? How many of you guys like it? No one? Personally, I love conflicts. External, physical conflicts. You know, like wrestling or pillow fighting some over and something like that. <laughs> but internal conflicts, I have a harder time dealing with. It's those conflicts, those questions that come into your mind and in war. War with yourself. And beat you around the room, even though they only may be the size of a pillow. One day I had an internal conflict. I was battling with the question. A question that essentially I knew the answer to. Which also often didn't want to recognize. One day I was talking to a friend and we were just talking about you know everyday guy stuff and kind of offhandedly. He recommended to me a book. And it's a book called When God Writes Your Love Story by Eric and, and Leslie Little. It's 219 pages long and written in, well, copyrighted in 1999. And as it dived in, it's a book about purity. And I'd heard it all before. It's like, you know, purity, purity, okay. You know, I'm talking about God wanted us to be, <clears throat> us to stay pure. But then I went further than that and stated that purity is more than just physical, but it's spiritual, it's emotional, and intellectual as well. As the book continued, it went into the story of <clears throat> the woman that was caught in adultery. And quoting Queen Michael Card, Leslie states that Christ, when she was standing before Christ, he did not condemn her because he was being condemned for her. After that, he told her to go and sin no more. Not because she would be condemned, not because of the law necessarily, but because he loved her. Because she loved him for what he had done for her. You know, the book had many really unique points, and I really enjoyed it. And as it, as it began to draw to a close, it told the story of two Chinamen. Two Chinamen sitting in a cold Chinaman's prison. With only two small blankets wrapped around their backs. And as the one Chinaman sat there in the cold, shivering their lives away, thought flashed into their mind. To the Chinaman's mind. The thought was. What would Jesus do? Sitting there in the cold, if he were me, what would Jesus do? And as the, as the question flew through his mind, he rose, took the blanket from off his back, and wrapped it around his shoulders of this Chinaman's back. As the book closed, it asked, Who are you? What's that Chinaman? Will you unselfishly give your purity, save your purity, give it to God, and save it for the one that he has for you? As the close, it asks the question, will you give? Will you give the, the pen that you would normally write your love story in? Will you give it to God and let him write it? And it was a good book, and I recommend it. <laughs>